Most motion equipment is tucked away in cabinets. Server drives, IOs, PLCs, IPCs, safety devices, engineering and manufacturing these control cabinets, it's a massive undertaking. Wiring inside these cabinets is a tedious task and the cables connecting the control cabinet with the point of motion carry so many wires that need to be effortfully shielded. Motor cables, encoders, safety and other signals quickly add up to several hundred wires. Engineering machines that use cabinet-based motion equipment is effortful and constrained and design changes are difficult. Now, motors with integrated drives exist for quite some time, where only power and field bus wires are required and the cabinet is reduced to power supplies and IPCs. So the elephant in the room is, why are they an absolute niche, make up only less than 10% of all motion access in industry? While for machine builders, the engineering with integrated motors is theoretically simplified, in reality, they are difficult to use and to live with for three main reasons. All existing integrated servo motors are derated, even if the manufacturers claim differently. Motor and servo drive both generate heat. And in the integrated situation, there is only passive cooling possible. Using state-of-the-art technology, this results in a thermally limited maximum power output called derating. The motor can only run continuously at 50 to 70% of its actual power rating. That means, for example, if I need a 2 Newton meter motor, I will have to integrate an integrated motor in the size of a 3 to 4 Newton meter motor. Second, what makes this size trouble even worse? State of the art sensor and server drive electronics are so bulky, they result in a size addition that is often even larger than the motor itself. So besides the larger motor, as a machine engineer, I will need to find extra space at the point of motion for that. Very constraining. Third, when it comes to machine maintenance and repair, if a cabinet-based server drive fails, you swap the drive in the cabinet. Mostly easy. If the server drive inside a conventional integrated motor fails, someone has to crawl into the machine, take everything apart that this motor is connected to, which is often a lot of mechanics, reinstall it and recalibrate everything much more effortful, much longer downtime. Looking at this, it's no surprise integrated motors saw little adoption so far, even that theoretically my life as a machine designer with them could be so much nicer. Practically, it's not the case until today. We're excited to introduce Synapticon Somanet Integro series, the integrated motion device for servo motors used in machinery that entirely changes the game for integrated motors. No derating. The motor runs permanently at full power. No size addition, everything included in what used to be the motor's housing for connector and wiring only, and 10 second assembly and maintenance. The electronics can be rapidly installed and changed without any cabling. To put it into perspective, the power density of integrated motors will rise by 90 to 470% compared with the best integrated motors in the market today. This will revolutionize the motion control market for machines as it leaves no reason to continue the headache-causing reality of cabinet-based motion control equipment. Integro is an offer for automation platform vendors, motor manufacturers, and mechatronic solution providers. If you sell servo motors, reach out to us now to create your next generation portfolio of high-performance integrated motors.